Good morning, folks. NASA was wrong. I was wrong. Noah was right. Sort of. The CME shockwave from the previous filament eruptions was not only dense, but it got here a day quicker than even Noah expected. It is early, so there are no geomagnetic reports yet. However, we are in a magnetic storm watch today, so pay attention to spaceweathernews.com and our Twitter feed for updates. Solar flaring remains low, and we can blame the sunspots. After such amazing overnight growth to report yesterday, they stalled out completely and magnetic complexity is gone. The sun remained active yesterday, however, with more filament eruptions, but they came off the departing and southern limbs, and Soho says they'll miss Earth as Venus comes in at the bottom, very bright. Jupiter will come in next up top, by the way. But add to the planets and solar wind shockwave this massive coronal hole and the quake watch peaks. A 6.6 .6 just struck the Solomon Islands this morning in one of their biggest of the stretch, but also a large volcano in Ecuador that had been dormant for years sprang to life and reports of ashfall and more potential activity are coming. Hopefully this is all the pressure release we're going to get during this uptick. We have twin typhoon candidates in the West Pacific, due north of that Solomon Islands quake. Also got one brewing off the Mexican coastline in the hot eastern waters. Top story today is about the super flare, or mega flare as we called it in an episode of the Sun series. How often do they occur, and how strong are they? We're going to discuss this in more detail in today's episode of Fly on the Wall. The last two episodes have been long and top-notch, but I aim to do better today. We're also dissecting the latest climate fraud about sunspots and climate. It is very important. Plus, we'll be doing a few other topics. Website membership is very cheap. 30 bucks for a whole year that includes about 100 hours of material plus the 200 hours already on the site. Click become a member below the premium button. We have two high alert areas tonight, and then we get some current conditions followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.